Senate GOP leader Mitch McConnell dealing with the aftermath of his contradictions at Trump's impeachment trial, blaming the former president for the riot just minutes after voting to acquit. Mitch McConnell now vowing to focus on electability over loyalty to Trump. But some Republican senators aren't happy with his rebuke. He got a load off his chest, obviously, but unfortunately, he put a load on the back of Republicans. I think his speech is an outlier regarding how Republicans feel about all this. He has to realize, as our leader, he, he, what he says reflects on us. Right. He's, re he, he's you know, representing the entire I was, caucus. I, was, I didn't particularly like it. Let's discuss now. CNN political commentators Alice Stewart and Anna Navarro both here. Good evening to both of you. Good to see you. Alice, let's talk about this um, McConnell. Clearly, he's trying to have it both ways by appealing to moderate Republicans, yet trying not to anger the base. Is that strategy going to work, or is he all but ensure that Trump will remain a force in the GOP by not voting to convict? Well, time will tell if it will work, right, Don? I think it it's really uh, makes no sense whatsoever for him to to try and have it both ways and talk out of both sides of his mouth. Here, here he is. Uh, he makes the ultimate vote not to... Uh, to convict the president, but condemns him. He talks the big talk, but doesn't walk the walk with regard to a conviction. And, and in addition to that, uh, coming out now and saying that uh, he's a private citizen and he can face charges outside of that, I think that takes the responsibility off of the people that had the decision to, to make the tough choice. And, and look, he can sit there and say with a straight face that the president was morally responsible for this and try to wash his hands of this. But I think Republicans should have done what Republican attorney Chuck Cooper suggested and judged this based on the merits of the president's misconduct and made a vote to convict. But hiding behind this has been unconstitutional, I think, was a cop out. And I feel like there should have been certainly more uh, done by Republicans in the Senate uh, to hold the president, former president accountable for his actions that led to the insurrection at the Capitol. Yeah, that whole not not constitutional was BS. Uh, that was right. that was a real argument because they had deemed it constitutional uh, before, and it had the force of law behind it. But they chose to hide behind that, and they thought it was a good that was a good way to get out, a good escape. Uh, so so listen, Anna, Trump's allies are not happy with McConnell, as you know. But what about the Republicans who d did decide to stand up against Trump? Are they going to have any faith in him after this? Look, I think this has been a huge blow to Mitch McConnell as a leader. Let's remember, until a month ago, uh, he was majority leader. He's now minority leader. But he, ha he is a grossly derelict of duty when it comes to that word leader. And, you know, I, I, I think about McConnell and I think to myself, but for Trump, he probably would be majority leader today. But for Trump tr talking all that garbage he spoke in Georgia and deflating the Republican vote there, Mitch McConnell would probably be majority leader today. And Mitch McConnell, you know, he worked with the devil. Mitch McConnell is a transactional guy. He uh, packed the federal courts with conservatives with the help of Trump. They did that together. But, you know, we're past that now. And a, a political party that exists to support one person it's not a political party. It is a cult. It might as well be Jim Jones instead of Donald Trump, or it might as well be David Koresh instead of Donald Trump. It is a cult. A political party needs to stand on convictions and principles and ideas and solutions. And this party, this party that has been talking and lecturing and clutching their pearls about cancel culture for the last four years, now wants to cancel Republicans who had the 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 spine to stand up and vote their conscience. What kind of political party penalizes elected officials who vote their conscience? Not who commit crimes, not who do nepotism, not who are corrupt, not who pardon criminals, but who stand up on principle. That, you know, that is, that's no longer a political party. It is a sham pretending to be a political party. And uh, Mitch McConnell, if he wants to be considered a leader, needs to figure out which side he's on. Yeah. Because straddling the fence is not a good look at yeah. this state of his life. Well, Alice, let me ask you. McConnell, telling this to the Wall Street Journal, when, when asked about Trump's role going forward, he says, I don't rule out the prospect that he may well be supporting good candidates. I'm not assuming that. 
to the extent of the former president wants to continue to be involved, he won't be a constructive part of the process. We know what kind of candidates Trump likes. So what's McConnell going to do if, if, you know, if we see more in the vein of the Marjorie Taylor Greene types? Well, then we'll be in serious trouble. Look, it's almost as though we're in a situation where you're trying to break up with someone, but you're trying to say, really, it's not you, it's me. And we need to just rip the Band-Aid off and acknowledge the fact that since the president, former president, has been in the White House, we have lost the House, we've lost the Senate, and we've lost the White House. So why would we continue to go down the road of, of continuing to lose as a Republican Party? And to Anna's point, uh, there have been a lot of people in the Republican Party that have gravitated toward the po personality of the party as opposed to the policies of the party. We need to get back to the founding principles of the Republican Party for uh, lower taxes, limited government, fiscal responsibility, immigration, Second Amendment rights, and focus on that. The continuing to support the former president and what he plans to do moving forward is revenge politics and putting primary opponents against those who have spoken out or taken action against him. That is not a winning formula. I do believe the president will have the former president will have some undue influence on the short term. The real question, Don, I think will be his kids. What does uh, Ivanka want to do? What does Laura Trump want to do? And Don Jr. If they want to have staying power, they potentially will have staying power. But I would like to think that the cooler heads in the Republican Party will prevail and understand we have lost too many powers in Washington, D.C. to continue to, to have former President Trump be the voice in the face of the Republican Party. It is not a winning formula, and it's not a way to move forward. Well, we'll see. As you said at the beginning, only time will tell. Thank you both. I appreciate it. Most Republicans refuse to convict Trump. That's one thing. But then take this. Lindsey Graham is now threatening someone else with potential impeachment. Vice President Kamala Harris.